welcome again so now today we were discussing about this acute inflammation and acute inflammation we have discussed how this uh, migration of the neutrophil occurs from the blood vessel to the tissue injury site we have talked about there was a stimulus that caused the uh, there was a breach of your skin and that is anatomical and physiological barrier then there was the due to the fossil and defense was deep uh, breach the innate immune response that is cellular response has came which while fighting release this interleukin 1 uh, tnf alpha and this prostaglandin leukotrienes these are the chemicals that was resolved by this uh, this was uh, produced by this antigen presenting cell and that chemokines that signals has gone to the local blood vessel by from where this neutrophil was extravated towards from the blood vessel towards the uh, infected side towards the bacterial side towards the injury side by the chemotactic gradient and that neutrophil after coming out after extravation ex from the blood vessel through the chemical gradient they have released to the bacterial cell or to the injury side of where the bacteria is multiplying once they have reached to the that site they cause the process known as the phagocytosis so what is phagocytosis phagocytosis is one of the process by which the bacteria that is present inside our tissue inside our body is going to be killed by our phagocytic cell mainly neutrophil and macrophages so once the chemostaxis of the phagocytic cytic cell in the area of the area of antigen entry is accomplished this cell ingests and digest particulate derbies such as microorganism host cell derbies and activate clotting factor so once this phagocytic cell through the chemotaxis has reached to the uh, tissue injury site or where the bacteria is multiplying they will die they will ingest and digest that particle including the host cellular derbies and they will activate the clotting factor so how this process is this process is called phagocytosis and how, how this process is going on there is the extension of the pseudophoria to engulf the attached material fusion of the pseudopodia to trap the material in the phagosome then fusion of the phagosome with the lysosome to create the phagolysosome then digestion of the, all the component and then release out exocytosis of the digested content that's all the you can see initially there will be the extension of the pseudopodia so the pseudopodia will be formed and the bacteria will to the attached material so there is the pseudopodia then fusion of the pseudopodia to trap the material so they would they are getting trapped and that is called phagosome in the phagosome they are actually killed by the respiratory breast if we can dis we'll discuss that later so the, you can see over the here there is oxygen dependent and oxygen independent killing in uh, oxygen dependent killing that is the phagosome membrane inside the phagosome with the respiratory uh, breast we kill the organism if not able to kill with this then we'll uh, fuse with the lysosome and form the phagolysosome so this this both is the phagolysosome with uh, the enzyme like lysosome defense in lactoferrin hydrolytic enzyme will pour on the bacterial membrane and will lyse everything so main important thing is that we'll discuss in detail about this uh, intracellular killing but we are over here where the pseudopodia is extended and then that bacteria is engulfed into the phagosome where the by the respiratory breast they will uh, they will attack this bacteria this foreign invader with all those missile you can say or say the respiratory breast if they are not able to kill then they will fuse with the lysosome so the lysosome there are the lysosomal enzyme heavy enzymes that will again kill this organism and in the by in the phagolysosome and after digesting everything they will excrete it out they will they will actually exocytosis of the digestive control the neutrophil after exocytosis of the digestive control the neutrophil release the granule contained into the extracellular environment during phagocytosis and inflammation when is the neutrophil dies and what is known as the push formation so they initially goes to the area where the chemotaxis where the tissue injury has occurred where the bacteria is multiplying they have now start engulfing the bacteria after engulfing they are coming into the phagosome then into the lysosome where they are killing by the different mechanism in phagosome with the respiratory breast with lysosome with the lysosomal enzyme and then in the phagolysosome after killing they will exocytosis all the debris and once after the debris has been exocytosis the neutrophils itself will release the all the granule contain which is present inside the cell so this granule contain will release in the extracellular milieu that is the environment during phagocytosis and inflammation which then by which the neutrophils will die so its work has finished now it has been died and they have converted into the pus this is dead neutrophil is a pus the ex they exude nuclear contain histones neutrophil extracellular traps which function is to trap the kill the pathogen so they will extrude they'll force out all this intracellular content outside and they will trap the 
trap and kill the pathogen and since they are releasing everything from the inside the enzymes and the ROS that is reactive oxygen species released in the tissue may damage the surrounding tissue okay so this was the process by which the neutrophil was killing the organism and also converted into the pus so once neutrophil has gone to the site where the say we have talked about this so once the neutrophil has reached to the site where they have digested the bacteria and killed the bacteria and now itself has been the neutrophil has been dead but the chemicals that has been sent by the neutrophil will now call the macrophage that is monocyte macrophage eosinophil since the monocyte this mac which is will come after into the tissue become the macrophages they will actually come and look out the infection if the infection is about is completed if the infection is now cured then they will release some cytokines like uh, tgf or say you can interleukin 10 so that will help to shut down the reaction shut down the inflammation so actually macrophage will be called and they will try to resolve the infection reduce they shut down all the inflammation if the infection is clear if it is not clear then macrophage itself will proceed into the chronic inflammation they will go to the they will say that we that is macrophage and neutrophil actually macrophage will play role to kill the organism if they are not able to kill then they will go to the adaptive immune system that macrophage is also adaptive immune system that is antigen presenting cell this macrophage is antigen presenting cell they will go to the adaptive immune system to the t cell and say look we like uh, first we are not able to prevent the organism to enter inside our body inside the wall so there is a breach in his skin and mucous membrane then we try to kill that organism through the inflammation by the help of the neutrophil and the macrophage we are not able to kill them please help us out to kill and clear the organism so will they, they will take they will engulf the microorganism they will process it present it they are antigen presenting cell and goes towards the local uh, your lymph node where they will go to the t cell and present that cell where which they will activate t cell will be selected activated they will come to activate the b cell and the antibody will form and antibody will form in the many many amounts large millions of antibody form you have to remember this neutrophil and macrophage are limited amount there is already invasion of the foreign there is already war is going on there has already been invasion of your foreign inside your own country or inside your body now you have a few missiles like macrophage neutrophil to kill and eliminate most of the time they will eliminate it but if they are not able to do that then they will help in the formation of antibody formation and the antibody in the release is in the millions amount the macrophage neutrophils are in the small amount so antibody once released they will activate the complement and then kill the organism there will be lots of complement activation there will be a lot of this phagocytosis will be increased by opsonization so we'll talk about the opsonization as well we have talked that neutrophil has come and tried to clear the infection if neutrophil was not able to clear the infection then they will neutrophil itself will call release the chemokines that will call this monocyte macrophage in eosinophil in five to six hour which get peaks in two to three days this macrophages okay so you have understood what is phagocytosis is the one of the process by which the bacteria is killed then initially it formed the uh, pseudopodia that engulf that bacteria comes into the phagosome where they will then they fuse with the lysosome in phagolysosome in phagosome they will kill with the respiratory brush if they are not able to do that then in the lysosome they will have the enzyme and they will digest everything and they will release in the environment and the neutrophil dies that become the pus so if that neutrophil is not able to control the infection then they will take the help of the macrophage and in macrophage how will they will kill they will kill by opsonization what is opsonization opsonization is the both macrophage and neutrophil have the membrane receptor for certain types of igg and complement protein if an antigen is coated with either of this material adherence and phagocytosis may be enhanced up to 4004 thus antibody and complement are called opsonin and the means by which they enhance phagocytosis is called opsonization so this neutrophil itself and the macrophages the friend which he had called for the fight the infection so this macrophages neutrophil has the receptor you know this antibody will form only after the adaptive immunity but this complement protein is actually formed by the alternative pathway as well so there is alternative pathway there is the manus binding lactin pathway that are not dependent on the adaptive immunity in the uh, antibody so they can this c3 will be released at the site of the infection you can look over here this the inflammatory site where the complementation complement system is activated so there is a release of c5a which has released this uh, breakdown this histamine mast cell and release of histamine prostaglandin leukotrienes 
they also release the C3B as a component of your alternate pathway or some managed binding lactin pathway. They had the opsonin. They can help in the opsonization. And what was the opsonization? Opsonization was one of the root process, which is the root process where one side you bind the bacteria and another side you have the receptor to bind to the phagocytic cell that is a macrophage and neutrophil and kill once you tie the bacteria and then kill that bacteria. So this is the process by which this is a process by which phagocytosis is increased, enhanced, and that is called opsonization. That is a two opsonin, one is a C3B and one is the immunoglobin G. Immunoglobin G comes only when the, uh, this adaptive immune system or antibody is formed, but before that C3B can be found in the environment due to the complement activation, that is the complement activation byproduct, and this macrophage and neutrophil biopsonization will try to kill the bacteria. If they are not able to clear the infection, now this macrophage will not resolve the infection. They will actually process this infection towards the chronic inflammation. They will present this antibacteria, engulf it, digest this, and then the after digestion, they will uh, take the, some part of your, that bacteria, and as antigen, they will present as the antigen present after processing, then presenting goes to the T cell, where T cell will be activated, and they will activate the B cell and antibody will form. Then antibody will come to this that antibody will come to the inflammation site, they will activate the complement, they will activate the bind to the macrophage, opsonization, they will neutralize the bacteria and in this way they will fight and clear the infection. That, that is the part of your chronic inflammation when antibody comes to play in role. Before that innate immune system is acting and the innate immune system is acting by complement as well but not due to the antibody dependent and that is by macrophage. First by neutrophil they will try to clear the infection. If they are not able to clear, they take the help of the macrophage. The macrophage can kill the organism even by opsonization because we have this C3B in the environment due to complement activation by the innate immune part that is the alternative pathway and complete that is manose binding lectin pathway and by which this macrophage is killing the bacteria. These all are the responses of your innate immune system. The killing, intracellular killing that is um, on the basis of the oxygen dependent and oxygen independent we will discuss in next chapter. Thank you.